Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today we're working on a new Campania T-Rex RR. This is a two-seat, three-wheeled motor vehicle. Um, it's titled as a motorcycle, but it's considered a three-wheel vehicle. Campania Motors is located in Quebec, Canada, and it's powered by an inline six with a sequential transmission. Really sweet toy. The power plant is a 1650cc uh, inline six with a transverse mounted BMW engine. Six speed sequential transmission, 160 horsepower, 129 foot pounds of torque. These have been available since the 1990s, the early 90s, but I can tell you as of now, they are not cheap. I see them going for $55,000, $70,000 a piece. I can also confirm that they're not easy to get in and out of, even with the detachable steering wheel. For the most part, these are weatherproof, but if it's not heavily mudded or soiled or gritty, I'll just do a rinseless wash. We will be uh, perfecting the paint um, on this. They are very light topical love marks. We can remove all of that. Uh, everything is fiberglass. There is no need to do any measurements. Uh, and unless you have something like an expensive Defelsco, you wouldn't get a reading anyways. Everything's plastic and fiberglass. We will also be coating every square inch of this, including the frame and finished suspension. And we'll keep an eye on it. I'm not all that familiar with the finish. If it has a hard time dealing with rock chips, we will also, at a later point, include paint protection film. And we'll use the rinseless on the painted surfaces, the plexiglass-like uh, smoked windshield, the uh, so-called interior parts, uh, dash and instrument cluster, the seats, the frame, the wheels, and suspension. This is what we will be going after. The paint correction is next. Just very light love marks. Could be even handling from the dealer. During the paint inspection, I came across some uh, bug splatter towards the front of the vehicle, and we can easily take care of that with Citral 266. After a few test spots, we found that the finish was leaning towards medium from soft. We're going to use the DA uh, Roops Fine Pad M302 from Kalkemi, and we'll just use a standard 15 millimeter throw cordless polisher.
Facebook you down to the Rio Grande Valley. Take a look at this video. Something border residents also have to deal with. A human smuggler being chased by Texas DPS crashes his truck into a gated community. He breaks the front gate. Eight illegal immigrants bail out of the vehicle. This is in Fidalgo County. And they all go running into this private residential neighborhood where people live. And Texas DPS had to go in there. They ultimately found all of them and took them all into custody. But that's what people who live at the border often have to deal with. And then last year, we talked about this trend. So take a look at this photo here. An absolutely... That did the trick. For the most part, we'll be able to get away with a one-step. In some areas, we'll just have to go over it and do a second pass. No big deal. We get that nice metallic flake uh, jumping out at you now. That's what we're looking for. So we'll just continue with that process and repeat all the way around the T-Rex. And of course this thing has a lot of angles, peaks, and body lines, so we'll just have to swap out polishers, drop down to the three inch, and then drop down once again to the two inch polisher and maybe even the rotary extension. That will do it for the correction. Didn't take long at all. Time to grab uh, Gion Prep and remove any oils or residue from the polish. Time for protection, and we grab, of course, a bottle of our BC-1. This is a one-layer, three- to five-year polysilazane coating. Very, very easy to use. Um, I know a lot of you in the comment section have had a chance by now to uh, give it a shot. We are rolling into the winter months, so some of you will have to wait, but it is well worth the wait. A very fun coating to work with.
So, as mentioned before, we will be coating every square inch. And you'd think because of the surface area, this would be uh, easier and, and quicker to get around than a normal uh, vehicle, a uh, four-door sedan or uh, a pickup truck. And actually, it takes a little bit more time because you got to get in tight areas, those intricate suspension parts. Everything is finished on this down to the frame, and it takes a little bit of time to get around it. Even the plexiglass smoked window will be protected. That will help with bug splatter in the future. We'll let it cure a minimum of four hours with our coating. The bond is there. It's time to top it and send it on its way. BC3 is our maintenance detail spray. This is SiO2. Incredible gloss, a nice, uh, slick, silky feel to it. And it's, again, extremely easy to use. I had these formulated for you guys to be able to pick up a bottle, get it on your car, get it on your car quickly without fuss so you can enjoy your automobiles, cars, trucks, bikes, RVs, boats, uh, wave runners, and, and spend more time enjoying them than working on them. Great to maintain wheels and calipers as well. All plastics, trim, whether the trim is aluminum, chrome, plastic, whether you have vinyl or stripes or paint protection film on your vehicle, even a wrap, you can use this product to boost gloss and give it some more protection. And finally, for the cherry on top, we have a coating for the tires, Hydroselex. Uh, this is their version of a dressing slash coating, and the finish is just the way I like it when it's fully cured, and then the customer can pick up and enjoy. Now well into the curing process, we'll do a walk around and inspect the work.
Dizzy. Go, go, go. With the customer on his way, we get a chance to pull it outside, take a look, and get some gloss measurements. And yes, extremely high. A lot of that has to do with the finish. Being gel coat and like glass, the gloss meter picks that up as well. And it doesn't hurt that we used BC3 on it as well. This has been Brian from Apex Detail. We'll catch you in the next video.